and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about one of the things that I think is the absolute most beautiful possible thing about sports. And I think that DJ Burns represents that extremely, extremely well. The reason I believe DJ Burns represents what is essentially the best quality in sports is that he gained massive amounts of popular in a, popularity in a very short amount of time. The reason he did this is because we have one end of the year tournament, NC State happened to go on a run, and DJ Burns happens to be most, most popular. A lot of essentially random things that come together that literally have the opportunity to put someone in a better life. One of the first people that we saw like this was Doug Eddard from one year ago, two years ago, whatever it was, maybe the first person who I think capitalized on this new wave of popularity. And not only with the popularity, he was able to capitalize it monetarily as well. And while we don't like to think about, or like a lot of people don't like to think about the money involved in basketball, if you can give one of these athletes a better life, like that is definitely a win across the board, just from an individual and from a group level as well. And so while Doug capitalized, signed multiple deals with the NIL, making money through his college thing, DJ Burns has as well. And that personally makes me appreciate college basketball, DJ Burns, the athletes and what they put themselves through to get to this stage at, at a very high level. We're going to walk through a couple of DJ Burns' plays against Duke and watch what makes him a very good player in general and allowed himself to put himself in this position in the first place. Let's go. So the first thing that I think is crucial is that people look at DJ Burns and the first thing they assume is that he's going to be slow or moving. And well... Obviously, he's not like a guard out there. He is very quick relative to his size and stature. And the ability to keep guards in front of him, especially during like pick and rolls where they try and essentially target him, I think is a very crucial skill that he possesses. However, that being said, we're here to talk about offense. Okay, so while DJ Burns isn't going to be throwing up a lot of threes anytime soon, he is adequate in his mid-range game. So when you run screen and rolls and you have the big essentially help down on the guard, he is a decent threat at this little short-range jumper right here. But I think where his most value is provided is one-on-one. -on -one. Because he's such a good frame and he uses his body so well, and his absolute tremendous footwork, he's able to get very good looks simply by using his body to create position. This is really high level. And again, some of these things, I don't know entirely whether it's intentional or not, but using that hand to essentially create a little bit of separation, and then two quick pivots to essentially get Philip Haskey to back up Another three feet or so creates great way closer looks that's going to increase the percentage by like five points, which although it sounds like it's not that much, that's going to have a huge impact on his efficiency overall. And keep in mind, I think Duke's post players are pretty solid. And essentially, you're going to have a real difficult time pushing away someone that's 250 plus 270, whatever he is. And so he uses his size very, very well. And... He uses a great opportunity as a passer to make it so it's really hard to double because you're going to be giving somebody open on the perimeter. Well, he always likes to get to his left hand, and so here he just creates enough space, and then a quick spin gets the defender slightly off balance, and he's able to elevate and create good opportunities, and he's got great, great touch around the rim. Shoots it really, really well. And then on offense, quite often, he catches people by surprise with his quickness. Okay, so Duke's in a little bit of a zone here, and 25 comes out to him, and because of his size, he wants to create physical contact, and he wants to brace with his left arm right here, so he braces with the left arm, and this is actually something you see from like Jokic as well, because Jokic is really quick and has a big body as well, so he's quick spin, and that creates so much separation where he's immediately downhill, and he's got that great touch around the rim, so this does wonders to create open shots, even when they're giving him high priority like this. I'm recording this prior to the NC State-Purdue game. And I, I don't know if he's going to be able to do this Zach Eady or if he'll be able to do this very much against Purdue at all. I certainly hope so because I think it's a great storyline. And for his sake, I would love a, a competitive game weight down to wire. But regardless, I think DJ Burns represents what college basketball, what sports in general, and especially what March Madness is all about. Having an underdog, having someone rise up and essentially better themselves through overcoming or making the most of their situation they're presented with. I absolutely love it. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like, subscribe, and have a blessed rest of your day.